welcome back to another vlog and it's a bit of a spend the weekend with us vlog because we've got lots to do we've got jam-packed days i've actually got a stay away show with rolo and panda tonight they've already gone up today but they're sleeping over at the venue tonight um and then we're going up there later this evening but i'm going to be in the ring tomorrow at 8 a.m with panda and rolo so i cannot wait for it but it's really early we're staying in the horse box overnight so fingers crossed we don't get too cold but we are bringing more warm clothes this time because we were not prepared at all last time we didn't know what we didn't know what to do really but this time lots of blankets lots of thick clothes and we'll be fine but first of all i'm going to be doing a meet up with you guys at hobbycraft to celebrate the launch of crystalverse and that also brings us to saying a huge thank you to crystalverse for sponsoring today's video but before we head to the event, I would just wanted to show you these beautiful crystal corns. These are brand new out, guys, and they come with hundreds of crystals where you can crystify them, whatever you want to call it. You can make them looking very, very shiny and bedazzly. And that's what I really like about them. They're an art craft toy and everything that you need is inside the set. There are three crystal corns you can collect. There's Kiki, Apollo and Starliner. And I'm going to be bedazzling Kiki because she matches my outfit and I think she might be my favourite. I can see on here, this one comes with 1,500 crystals and a collector card. That's a lot of crystals. So we use our little tool to pick up the crystals out on our little tray. And then we stick them on. So I've put some glue onto her, this little shape on her forehead here and this little tool just picks the crystals up nice and easily. The glue does come out white when you first put it on but it does dry clear. So here she is, I think she looks absolutely amazing. She looks so sparkly and I absolutely love it. I did some little jewels on the top of her crown, her horn, and then I added some little jewels there, here and there on her hair. Um, I also did her little hooves, how cute is that? So adorable. Let me know which one is your favourite, Kiki, Apollo or Starlana and how you customise your crystal corn because they are very, very fun and it's actually really therapeutic and really calming as well. So if you had a bit of a stressful day, this is the perfect thing to just sit down and relax. I couldn't decide whether I was going to do her full mane or not, but I could always save the crystals for another day because that's the amazing thing about this. You can do it one day and then tomorrow I can add some more crystals to her again. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I also made her horn, I when I crystallised it, I made it like stripy. So there's silver crystals, purple crystals and pink crystals. Make sure you check out the link in the description box down below where you can find out where to shop Crystalverse. no sparkles and then you get to put all the sparkles on yourself. So we are now en route to the show, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who came to the meet and greet. It was so much fun meeting you all. It's getting pretty dark now, and the roads are, you can just slowly like see they're getting a lot quieter. I reckon we're gonna get there at about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, so it's gonna be pretty late. I do wanna see Rolo and Panda though. In their stables, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little, um a lycra bodysuit for Panda to put on so he stays half clean for tomorrow. The ponies are there already which means we've been able to set up our beds in the back which has been really nice actually because we can just get there, go say hello to the boys get to bed. and get to bed. So. And Grandad has been jet washing it for about nine hours. Yeah. It's immaculate. It's, it's, it's like brand so new. clean. 
It's like um, the day that we got it. Li it literally is. Granddad's been working very hard. So it's all clean to sleep in. Yeah. I don't mind sleeping it when it's clean. I know, it's just when it stinks of um, poo. horse poo and horse wee. And you've got like all the like... Shavings and hay. Yeah. It's disgusting. And it just... Oh, the vibes just smell good. It, it already feels a lot like cleaner in there. I don't mind sleeping it, but it's going to be cold. But we've got about two and a half hours to go, so we'll see you when we get there. It's freezing. <laughs> oh, I'm shivering. It's cold up north. It's cold. Oh, it's so cold. We just find the ponies. Oh, it that, that drive took forever. Four and hours. It took a lot longer than it needed to take. Oh, oh, oh. Where are they? Oh. Oh. It's the wet. Road. It's cold. It's wet. Rollo. Oh, I spot one. Where is he? This one. Oh, hello, babes! Hi, darling! Hi, oh, yay! Hi, oh, you, darling! Oh, it is freezing, I know. I am pretty cold, so I might just like get in the rug with you because I am freezing, babes. Oh, give me a big kiss. Oh, you had your dinner? I can taste it. Oh, I'm shivering, Harlow. I'm so oh, cold. Oh, oh. oh slop her in her. Yeah, your panda. Let's oh, have a little check up my on him. Baby boy. How's the tail looking? Oh, not a speck of. It's in a waterproof bag. That's what he needs. No poo's getting on that, is it? Oh, panda. Oh, he's got his new snuggy hood. He's got his new thick snuggy hood on. He's got his... It's a turnout hood. This is what, this is what he needs, is He's got his dry rug on and he's got his thick rug on. So he's a warm boy. You warm boy. Oh, a big kiss. He's like, I've been dreading the moment you guys come because I know you're going to get come in my stable and start squidging my nose. What's oh, so? it's a little bit wet, isn't it? This is just not, not that glamorous, really. Come here. Why is, it, why is he so fluffy again? Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> what's, oh, yeah, you didn't see him yesterday. What's happened, babes? Why are you gone so hairy? We, I know. We left him not long ago. I know, literally, I had a shock of my life when I seen him as well. What? How is that normal? I know, you're a fluffy boy. Oh, you're like a polar bear. I mean, it, it works well, though, because he'll be really warm, won't he? He will be very warm. He needs a new clip after this show. Definitely. Defo. We're gonna top up Rolo's hay and water. I actually still can't believe how fluffy he is. I know. I'm not I've not got over it like that quickly. It's because I didn't clip loads off. That's why. No. Lisa did like so he looked perfect for Hoys and now we're like one week after Hoys. And he's gone polar bear. Polar bear. Yeah. But at least he's nice and warm though. He's fine. Right, let's get him sorted. Get him some hay and water. He's been a thirsty boy. Do you want any more? We're going to go fill it up in a second. We'll get it fresh. I'll take the hay net as well. Oh yeah. Come back with your new, your new good cinnamon at Rose. Boys, over here boys. Babeses. Panda. Panda. Oh my God. They're posing. Oh my beautiful boys. So guys, this is the setup we've got going on. This is mum's bed. And this is my bed. We're, we're a little bit warmer than the SBS summer champs, I must say. We've got very thick pajamas and fluffy pajamas this time. We've got all the same duvet. Well, we're not duvet actually, we don't have any duvet because we're moldy. But we've got the same like mattress and then we have a blanket, then another blanket, then a sleeping bag, then another blanket and another blanket. So that's for me. 
Then for mum, she's got this as a mattress. She's got her normal foam mattress, then this mattress. Then she's got this that she's gonna like that go on top of her, then this, and then she's got her thick pajamas. So everyone's gonna be pretty warm. I've got this like sleep spray to like help us sleep through the generators the next ones <laughs> because everyone has their generators on and it's really annoying so we're just <sighs> get it in the lungs get rid of the horse smell um, it's not too bad it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that bad I febrezed it all first as well yeah and it was all jet washed and it was like open for about yeah, four it's hours. Smart so clean. it's pretty clean. Everywhere is clean. Grandad has been I mean look at the rubber matting, it's like it's like brand new. We've also got carpet as well to like keep the insulation in. But yeah. I'm, it's Baltic. This is the last day away of the year. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> right, should we go to bed? Let's go to bed. Getting up early, we're getting up at six, aren't we? Because you're in the ring at eight. So we've got to feed the boys in the morning. Yep. Right, good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good morning, everybody. <sighs> it is absolutely freezing. I slept quite well last night, but it was just like way too cold for my liking. Um, I, I woke up about every 10 minutes. So I didn't get that much sleep, but I went back to, back to sleep straight afterwards. But it's just like when you get that interrupted sleep, you feel really tired. Um, but Mum's going to go feed the boys now, and then whilst she's sorry, I've had like no sleep. It's really cold. My brain's slowly not working. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so then mum is going to feed the ponies and then I'm going to do my hair whilst she's doing that. Because I can I can actually do my hair in a bun, which is quite handy, but oh, I just went to the toilet to dry my hands off. To warm my hands up and to I don't know, let's put that on yellow, can we? I oh, know, we can't. It was stuck on blue. Right. But yeah, I went to the toilet a second ago to first of all have a have a pee because I was desperado. And then also to Oh my god, that lorry just got really close to our little arse box. I was actually for a second I thought she was gonna run me over. Alright. Time to close the door. <sighs> I'm absolutely freezing and it is not a good vibe. Oh me fingers. But tip my dry off. Yeah, excuse the mess that it's here. Well, it's, like, it's an organised mess. I might need to take that off to do my hair with. Oh, yeah, I've got a new tie from Show Pony Prep. Yeah, excuse how many layers I've got on, by the way. But yeah, I'm just going to tighten it up. Did I do my top button up? No, I did not. So. Right, yeah, there we go. We're looking fabulous. Oh, what? Oopsie Everything is kind of like scattered around the horse box at the moment, but in like an organised way. Did I pack a hairbrush? I hope so. Oh my gosh, I can't find a hairbrush. My mum is going to go absolutely mental. Guys, I found a hairbrush in the end. It may have been Rolo's hairbrush, but we're in the ring and we had no time to film. No, I didn't, we didn't have time to film any of my warm up. It was just go, go, go. So guys, this class is a pretty big deal. The top three ponies, so first, second, and third place in this class go to the Supreme Championship, which is against like 
Fells, New Forest Ponies, loads of big breeds. They all go to the Supreme Championship, which is at the London International Horse Show in December. So I am determined to get there. I'm going to try my absolute hardest. Wish us luck. It's already a massive achievement to get to the semi-final class because everyone is a winner that has to get here and there's only two other children in this class and it's against all of the adults. I'm feeling so determined. I said to my mum before I went in this class, I'm going to ride like I've never ever rode before. I'm absolutely desperate to ride in the main arena at London International Hall Show this Christmas. Oh, look at that gallop, speedy boy. I think me and Rolo really pulled it out of the bag for our show and I don't think it could have gone any better. The results are in. We did it, we're going to London! I literally cannot even believe it. We went into this class pretty unprepared and not thinking that we were gonna get through. I mean, I didn't even have my type in because it was that rush this morning. But we did it, we made it through and we're going to London and in the main arena as well. And Rolo even got his first ever rug with me. Oh my God. Rolo won that beautiful fancy rug and it may be two sizes too big for him, but the fact is he won it this pony has really just been an absolute dream this year. He's taken me to Royal International Horse Show, he's taken me to Hoys and now to London in the main arena. I'm so excited to be competing in the Mountain and Moorland Supreme Championship and it is going to be on the Monday in the main arena for anyone who's wondering. So something just happened. We've something qualified big just happened. for London. You good? Oh, oh boy! I can't believe it, Rolo! Oh, Rosie Posey! Oh my god! You're going to London International Hall Show. Rosie, you're seeing Santa! So Rolo's all back in his stable. We now have the panda tacked up and ready and raring. Well, he's not really raring, but he's ready to go, 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 go in his work class. So this is our second, second workers to get us. And the jumps are absolutely massive. This will be the biggest course I've ever jumped. Like ever. They're meant to be 85, but some of them are a little bit cheerful. Just using my favourite products, these Supreme products, Sparkle Shine stuff. It, this is amazing. I guess like any pony shining. Like with, with greys, when they're like pure white like Panda, it's really hard to get them looking shiny, isn't it? It is a little bit. But this stuff just like, it, it, it makes any pony look shiny. And we don't, we don't even have to put that much on Rolo because it's just so good. A lot of fancy brushes as well, they help. Yeah, they help a lot when you've got the brushes too. He's not too bad with the sprays, but sometimes he's a little bit fidgety. He doesn't mind it on the bum, but just on his neck. He's a little bit... Babes, no, I ain't having that near my head. So... Lola's in a stable, isn't he? Yeah, I'm munching on his haylage. He's having a little feed. He's got one more class today, isn't he? Yep. Panda's got one class, this is it. He's only doing this class only. And Rolo's got a RI. Royal International Qualifier for next year. Yes. Two qualifiers in one day. I know. London and, and RI. RI. <laughs> it's a shame you can't qualify in advance, like a year in advance for Hoyes. I know. Good boy. Oh, he's so pretty. Come on, babes. He's so, so, so pretty. I'm gonna walk your course in a second, yeah? It's a very spooky course as well. I've never had Fool on panda, or I've never. Oh God, no! I'm not talking about this. Why? No, don't you don't say that. Oh my God, not before. Oh, well. Anyways. Yeah. Panda's never refused. Hi. Hello. Hello. This is.
That's get the hands up, get the hands up and forward a little bit. Panda is up next and look at the size of that jump compared to him. This is going to be the biggest course I've ever jumped with Panda and in my whole entire life. I've really had to put my brave pants on for this and mum was actually close to pulling me out of the class because she thought it was too big. But here we are in the ring going for it. We don't care where we get placed as long as we get round safe and sound. I'm just going to warn you now guys, this is not the prettiest round you've ever seen, this is not angelic in the slightest, I got launched a couple times, but Panda's a big boy and um, and these are some very very big jumps in quite a small arena and there was a lot of tight turns in there too. But so far so good, I haven't fallen off yet and I'm remembering my course which is a good start. And by the way guys, that was the first ever one strided double I've ever done on Panda and I think he's ever done too. So we really are, um, just ignore my jump as well, but we really are just going for it all today. <laughs> but how honest is this pony though? He really is an absolute legend. Next up, me and Panda have got our individual show, and I must say, this was the most tiniest arena I've ever done my show in. It was like a round pen, and it was so, it was such a tight space to like manoeuvre around the arena together, and it was, it was quite a struggle really. Me and Panda have still got a lot to learn about each other, and a lot to like work on as well, like to be ready for these spaces and to make everything nice and neat and polished but everyone starts somewhere and I'm really proud of us for this. I didn't have um, space to do my gallop so I just didn't really do it really because I probably would have crashed and it was a bit too small to do it as well so we just skipped the gallop. Now it's time for the confirmation and you, the judge didn't tell me this like whilst I was doing my confirmation, he told me this like in the prize giving, but he said he's got really really good confirmation, it's outstanding, he's beautiful and he's really well mannered. I was really happy with those comments and Panda was an absolute saint, he was amazing, he stood up amazingly and overall he just, he was so, he was such a good boy, I couldn't have asked anything else from him. The reason why I keep on like crouching down and like trying to like not tease him but just like make him think that the the sounds a treat basically is because for the confirmation you like their ears forward, you like them to have nice posture. But that's just a little trick I do and it keeps their it keeps their ears forward the whole entire time. It really works with Rolo. Sometimes if you're doing like your show on grass or something, it's a little bit better because you can like tease them with the grass and then give them it after. But sound works perfectly fine too. I was delighted to get placed 8th in this class and I was super chuffed with that because I was the only child in this class. There wasn't even like any teenagers or anything, I was the only child. And just ignore my running guys. So we've just done our jumping round, our show and our confirmation and Panda was an absolute angel in all of them. He was such a good boy, he didn't put a foot wrong and actually in the jumping round that was the first ever one stride double we've ever done. It was. 
So I got it. No, if he had one down or two down. I think he only had one, and it was the planks. But the cups were the other way around, so they were really, really easy to fall. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know because where I was filming, I couldn't really see. Yeah. So we have no, to. No, I thought I think I can only remember having one down. But yeah, I'm so happy with that. And there were some big, big oxes in there. Big oxes and spooky. He's not seen stuff like that. Very spooky. That up. Did, did he look at anything? Not a single thing. Oh, look at your rings, babes. Yay. I enjoyed that, I but reckon. On the upright closest to where you were standing, it had like those like boxes and then loads of brush in front of it as well. So it was like that wide. Let me see. Oh my god. The and ring was really tiny to do your show in, wasn't it? Mm. And there's actually, it was really tiny jumping. Ring, thing. Yeah, yeah, not massive, not much space. No. It makes it a lot harder. Yeah. Been amazing, babe. I was a bit worried when I seen them. I nearly pulled you out. Oh. Oh, they're too big. They're too big for Panda. Nah, he's a good he's boy. Tired. Oh my god, he's actually biting his rose. Oi, babes. Good. Oh, I can't wait to see the pickies. Yeah. How many flies did you have? All of them. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> did he ping you over all of them? A lot of them, but to be fair, on the double he was actually really good. He, uh, he didn't ping the double. No, didn't and have time. <laughs> on the one closest to where you were, he jumped that really nicely. He jumped number 12 really nicely and number one. Um, number two we pinged. So successful day. Number three was like... This is a big class though. You're the only kid in this class <laughs> as well. It's all these adults. And these, these, it's good. Mm. So yeah, no, no matter what the result, that was amazing. Wasn't yeah. It? And it's just all about like... Getting them out, practicing. Lots of practicing. We need to be jumping lots of courses this winter, even in show jumping. Mm, even at home. Because we know he's not spooky. He doesn't need. We to know he's not jumps. spooking. It's not a seeing jumps. It's like getting round jumps, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Like distances. Get it, distances, but he's only young. You he's learning when he's going to take off. Yeah, but I all I pr pretty much know now. He never like dips in. He always goes for a long one. Yeah. So I've just got to be like. Ready for the if there's one. if there's no stride, it's long stride. Amazing, well done. Oh good boy. I think he was like, right, I've got to be on my best behaviour in this round because a little person on board. Yep, and she don't really know how to steer. Now it's a Rolo Pelos time to shine again. This is a Royal International Qualifier for 2024, so next year in the open MM small breeds. We're just having a little warm up. He's already done his class this morning, so I'm just giving him five minutes just to make sure we're nice and warmed up and ready to go. So I'm gonna talk you through what happens at these kind of shows. So everyone will walk around and it will always be clockwise. And then once the judge has seen all the ponies walk enough, She'll then tell the steward, which is like her secretary person, to say, trot on please to the person, like to the pony closest to him, because they don't want to shout for miles and miles. But once the judge has had a nice, good look at all the ponies trot, she'll then ask them to canter round. And you're all cantering, trotting, walking round at the same time. And it's quite like, it's, it, it's a lot to take in, like you've got to make sure you're not behind other ponies' bums, you're up their bums, or you've, not, you've got to make sure you're not covered so the judge can see you. And here we are about to do our individual show, and when you get, when you come in in the lineup, the judge can say, come in in any order, or she can, or he can pull you in in the order that they want. Some people, if it's any order, they will trot in to try and get in like the top three or something, because their ponies will go better because they haven't fallen asleep or something. But Rolo is such a good boy. He he doesn't care where he goes, whether it's like top four, middle, or even last. He just performs the exact same, which is something that's really good about him. Sometimes the judge will set you a show and it'll be for the whole entire class and she'll tell you the show that she wants to do. Um, but most of the time, it's a show that you've practiced or a show that you want to do. We also didn't know that this judge must have absolutely loved Shetlands because there were a lot of Shetlands in there and when we got placed, I did, spoiler, spoiler alert, I did come third, but it was literally just Shetland, Shetland, Rolo, Shetland, 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 Shetland. So she loved Shetlands, but 
yeah I'm super pleased with that result from Rolo we have still got like the whole of next year to qualify for RI so I'm not too bothered about it We've got loads and loads and loads of time to qualify for Royal International, so today was just a little bit of fun. We've got the goods. I've got a chocolate milkshake that I got, that I got about a minute ago. I've downed it. I've got some donuts and then a nougat for Panda, because Panda is just for boring someone's girth at the moment. And, um... Yeah. It's, um... Oh, they're, they're waving behind. Oh. <laughs> they want to be on the vlog. Mm -hmm. And what about... Oh, we've been bought some amazing pictures. Oh my God, we bought some incredible pictures. We've got some of, of Rolo and then loads of Panda. Um, that Panda. was probably the best Panda's ever jumped in the photos. He looked amazing. Um, he wanted the jumps bigger by the looks of it. <laughs> he over jumped them all about 20 like, oh, centimetres. He didn't want to knock any. No. He jumped the, he over jumped them all about 20 centimetres, so Bless he's him. he's ready for the one metres. Yeah. Someone just told us that, that the spreads were 95 centimetres in your class. What? Yep. 95 centimetres. But they're meant to be 85! No, they can go really wide. They were high. They were like 80, 90. 95 I think they were oh my really God. big and then they were really it. wide as well they were like that wide yeah that's what no, that's what they were saying they were 95 wide oh my god so we're gonna go uh, back to the stables now we've got to get the boys stables mucked out get them loaded up we've got to put our beds away yep so lots to do all the boring stuff now yeah all the lots of fun stuff Nope. And then we've got that long old drive home. Ugh. Ugh. You still got donuts. <laughs> At least it was worth it. Yeah. Because we're going to London. Oh. It's also getting a lot colder now. Yeah. Like there was a one point in the day where it was a, it was a nice bearable temperature, but now it's just freezing. Yeah. So, got one pony in. Got Panda. Oh, you're such a good boy. This pony's a little angel. Just waiting for Harlow to bring Rolo down now. So this is what the back of the horse box is looking like. We've packed up all of the bedding and Harlow's dry rug, uh, equi dry, and Panda's rugs. It's just chock a block. Everywhere is chock a block. So I'm back home now, guys, and excuse the um the mess of my skincare, but um. Anyways, these I'm just going to show you, it's actually the next day as well, sorry I forgot to say. We had so much to do when we were leaving the show, we had to get all of the bedding out of Rolo and Panda stables, we had to gather up all their things, we had to get them ready for travelling, we had to pack up the beds we were sleeping in in the lorry, and then we had a four hour drive home, and once I hit that road, I just fell asleep, because I had such a... Uh, rubbish sleep that night i was just like right guys i'm out see you later so we couldn't film the outro and then by the time i'd woken up it was only like an hour to go so it was like pitch black by then so we couldn't film i promised to show you guys my rosette wall so i'm gonna show it to you tonight um if you, if you guys are thinking i qualified twice i didn't this is from um, this is from Hoy's where I didn't get a place, so I got one of those beautiful rosettes. Um, but these are the ones I got from Heritage. I got this one and then this one. I actually got another one as well. Um, I think um, it might be in the horse box. Yeah, I think it might have been in the horse box. But this is the rosette wall that is getting pretty full. Got and they were kind of coordinated and then it just went out the window. Well, it did go out the window, didn't it? But yeah, there's yeah. a lot of I spent process. an hour and a half organising these. Yeah. I was that dedicated. Yeah, so this is just your most prized possessions, really, aren't they? Yeah. I also wanted to show you this. I got this at one of my meet and greet, and someone knitted this, and I think it's so thoughtful. It's even got my little, like, straight it's tie you. bar it's pin. It's, it's, it's you, it's, it's me. It's, it's got my little, my bows and everything. It's even got my little na na navy velvet hat and, and the red ribbon, of course. <laughs> yeah, and well, the little tie pin. I know, the little tie Brown pin. Round jacket. It's got everything. It's even got the little pockets. Oh, it's even got the little... I know. <laughs> the knee pads. 
it's even got the knee pad but this was amazing thank you so much this must have taken hours like but guys it is just about sunk in that me and Rolo are going to London he's taken me to some of the most prestigious shows ever and he's just been absolutely amazing this has been our first season together and we've done all of the big shows well we're about to do all of them because we're going to London yeah I was thinking at school today and then I, I like I was doing my English and then I was like I'm going to London like just randomly out of the blue thank you so much for watching today's vlog I can't wait to share the London vlog with you in December because it is going to be a pretty special one but stay tuned for that and yeah I hope you like today's vlog and we'll see you in the next one